going to drop into a Suburban uh, uh, Hex. Yep, Suburban. It's medium difficulty. Okay. And uh, we we pre-scouted it. It's got three gates. All right. So that should be fun. One of them's a, a floating gate. S some Revengeance uh, going on. Oh, we're bringing... I didn't know we were allowed to bring this up. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. Revengeance a word? <laughs> I, I don't know. I just <laughs> I just felt like saying it. I don't think that's a word. I, I, like, I like that word. I don't... I don't okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it to you, but I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, so we're right. we're we're in the hex. This is suburban hex, and uh, uh, like James says, it's a three gate capture. Um, right now, I think you all are. Are you guys still trying to gather up resources? Yeah, right now? everyone else is gathering resources. I think the gate's over this way. So okay. we'll go over there and take a look. Look at them trucking okay. along. So I'll gather some resources as we go. We haven't talked about home base too much, but one of the things I want to mention uh, is uh, as a part of you know upgrading your home base, um, you know you start off with that wooden stick with the nails in it when you want to harvest uh, resources. There's an upgrade uh, for a specific um, uh, ability that allows you to have like a, a stronger uh, yeah. starting out point. So I think a lot of people have um, kind of kind of learn uh, and OT kind of learned and gravitated towards some of those some of those cool ability perks that they can use and been using those quite a bit uh, so was that that was the loot the, llama. the, the impact, impact alpaca. alpaca yeah the, the drama is real uh, but llama. loot llama yeah, it's impact it's alpaca it's impact alpaca in the tooltip I don't know what to tell you it's, it's what happened <laughs> it's like if you mouse over it it says impact alpaca uh, so r right now, um, have you guys kind of talked about what type of fort you guys are going to build? Yeah, we looked at it a little bit. We know what we want to build, um, but we wanted to save the building, uh, obviously, for the for the live stream. So we'll place the gates now. Of course, you know, it, it's going to depend on where the storm clouds are uh -huh. a little bit, which direction we build, but we, we've got some ideas. So, so all directions. Right. So... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so c uh, Cameron, can you give kind of a uh, like a very quick and dirty version of how the the portals and the storm and what that all means to the game? So um, essentially, we have these gates that you need to close, and um, defending them is a priority because the husks don't want you to close them, and they want to, they want to kill you for doing it. So um, in a, in a multi-gate capture, uh, you have the situation where you have three objectives you have to defend, which kind of causes. Um, the choke points to be a little bit more real because if you defend one of them too strongly, then yeah, you, you defended that one, but the other two uh, are not going to be as defended. And if you lose any of these, you're going to wind up losing the match. So it's it's going to be on the uh, on the, the team's back to make sure that they they, they protect all three of these um, uh, correctly. And from various threats too, because like you see this one here that he's building towards is kind of up in the sky. Up in the sky, so right. So like this one's going to be a lot harder to defend from like some of the ranged guys, like the flingers and um, the uh, the lobbers and such. But uh, the ones on the ground are going to be more dangerous uh, to defend against smashers and such. So you're going to have to have a very base defense in order to get through this map okay. So uh, have you guys kind of plotted out how you want things to connect, uh, yep. James? We're going to start in the middle and I'm going to put some floors down and then throw my base on that so we can see the connectivity of the base. Okay. I'm going to throw the floors down first just so we get kind of an idea. And the, f and the floors are really important now with the new way the new base works because it, that's how you get your containment unit to spread. Uh, so like having, having a nice floor network is going to cause a lot of ambient damage to happen to the husks. It also allows the base to kind of spread uh, a little bit better throughout, the, throughout your, your defensive area. Okay. Um, now... When when the when the base drops, uh, there's, there's a bit of <laughs> <laughs> there's a bit of uh, verticality to it as well, not just on the floors. Uh, what is it? All of it is based on the interconnectivity. Or exactly, uh, it, it's what touches it. So like if you, I mean, once he places it, we'll be able to give you a more specific example. But right. essentially, the the default version of the base is you get three connectivity units. As you specialize down the tree more, it upgrades to five. And if you go down um, the second tree, the territorial tree, you can even upgrade that to seven. So essentially, like if you imagine it like a giant sort of tic-tac-toe grid, and every uh, connecting piece is one sort of step, uh, that's how many steps out you go. So like, if he puts it there, let's say, um, now he's going to put it down, he does the thing, and he does that thing, and then he does this thing, and then boom. 
now we look at that connectivity. So okay. so now if you if you see the to the left there, it's it's going across all there, but then it's connecting to that stairs. Staircase. It's going up. So but it only goes up those two units because it takes if you count, see it's one, two, three, four, five. And okay. then we're done. So that's as far as he goes. He would need to go down territorial to get a bigger base. Okay. Yeah. Under understood. But understood. if you build some some uh, some floors over there, those should still be connected. And as soon as you put it down, you can see there that it's going to be that it's going to be connected to that. Throw this out here. Yeah, got to clean the area. It, yeah. Where are we at? One. Yeah, now, now if he destroys that piece right there, you can see here just uh, he's going to destroy this piece. It's going to disconnect that piece. Okay. But then if you place it down again, it'll instantly be like, oh, oh no, I'm connected again, and now now we're good to go. And having this large floor network is important for traps. It's also important because it's creating that containment unit, which is going to damage husks as they come into this area. Right. So some of the husks, like uh, uh, the propane husk, for example, they specifically throw down uh, propane, mm -hmm. and they'll blow things up. So I, I yep. kind of see why it's like so important. It's like you have to be very conscious of where some of these things are in order to make sure that they're still connected so you keep that uh, all of the properties of the base um, with, within the base. It, and towards late game, the base will regenerate your, your structures that are connected. I mean, it's not enough. Like, I mean, if, you're, if your stuff's under attack, you're not going to, like, out-regen it with the base passive regen, but it's enough that, like, if you take just a little bit of damage, you know, it'll, it'll kind of maintain itself, connect itself, take care of that. Right. Uh, so throughout this, you've been kind of doing some uh, some minor editing through. Yeah, through made some doors to get through. We're going to build some low walls up here because uh, what we don't want to happen is with our base right here uh, not being super or being a little bit exposed. I don't want guys to just husks to just like fall off and jump onto here and start hitting stuff. So we're going to try to deter them and funnel them a little bit with some uh, walls. But let me go back over here and build the actual. With low some, wall. would you say creative construction? With with extremely creative construction. <laughs> okay. Creative construction. That's that's what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> so there's some editing right there. That's a low we're going for yeah. a low wall. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go with a little low wall. Little fence. And we're just gonna build it across. And you got what you guys are watching is him uh, editing very quickly between multiple types of materials. So for a split second there you had uh, wood and then you changed to stone in an instant and yep. now you're building stone. And then walls. I can build metal over here if I want, I've got a little bit of metal. So that goes back to like our pillar, right? Like we want it to be super accessible. Like it, it should take, it should be very easy for you to figure out how to build. And we want you to spend all your time thinking about what to build and in what kind of configuration you want to build it. That's more fun than like going, how do I shot web? Right. Uh, one of the things I, I'm very curious about, uh, and I'm sure other folks are, is that the grid is, I think it's a nine, nine uh, piece grid for the editing each tiles. Mm -hmm. How, how did you guys, like, what was the decision making for? It was just like, this is this makes sense and this is the easiest. So um, that that actually predates me. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to my good friend and comrade uh, William T. Bramer Esquire the Third, okay. who would <laughs> probably be the best person to ask that question to. But um, like, I as far as the. Uh, you know, the, the, the decision making behind the nine grid, but like he's kind of like, you know, the grand poppy architect of all this kind of stuff. So um, I'm sure he had good reasons for it. And ultimately, I mean, whatever his reasons were, I think they were correct because it, it, it really kind of sells, you know, y you can even like when, when I first started working here and they were like, oh, you need to play the game. It was like, you instantly get it. Get like, it even right. with nobody telling you like, oh, I can just, the only thing you really need to know is like, hey, I need to hit G. And then once, you, once you're in G town, you're in business. The Do business of building, the business right. of creative <laughs> construction. <laughs> Do you guys have any more wood? I need to place a little path uh -huh. down here for these guys to yeah. come down so we can lay traps and stuff. Hey! That would be great. Thank you. So oh, wow. Look what they've done up there. Oh, I see the. there's a sky bridge up there up top. Don't you have recycling? Shouldn't you check your base? Oh, I'm I've sure. been checking periodically. Yeah, look, look, you can see right there you got some yep. stuff going on. Some, some, some metal. Some, some uh Look at that. Thank you, sir. Now, there's there's several ways. I think we kind of get this question um, on and off during OT is, you know, can you trade with folks some resources within the game um, if, if you're low on resources? That was a good example there. So you had, uh, was that Jeff that came yeah. over and, and dropped off some wood for you? You can do it that way, and he can also drag and drop it into your uh, your name and it'll actually show up as like a little present uh, icon uh, w within the UI. So can I can I just call us something over here? If you go to your little bit your left, James, um, why don't you do the F two the good old F two trick up there? If you go underneath, oh someone's done it already. Someone's oh already yeah, done it. Man. the floor over the roof. But yeah. what we have is 
You could do another one, though, next to it just to showcase how cool that is. So one of the things that people don't realize, you can actually build these. I call these F2 roofs or roofs. I'm not sure which. And then you can F4 from underneath it, which uh, gives you some added. Yeah, just put that right on top. See there? That's super critical for like when you're, it's late game and the flingers are, are kind of destroying your base and they're, they're coming from up top and you need to just throw up some quick defense. You can totally do that with an F, a little F2, F4 action. Uh, get that working for you. I'm actually going to throw an anchor. Uh, one thing that we found that's pretty effective with floating gates is, as a lot of people might know, the uh, if you destroy the base, the the gate dies, right? So if the husks come by and take all the anchors away, um, your gate is done. Your gate is done, right? So what we'll do a lot of times is, and this might take more resources than I have. Hopefully it doesn't. And hopefully I can lay a floor down from somewhere over here. And no. I'm going to edit this wall and then do it. Is we'll anchor it to something far away that the husks just won't touch. Ah. So, just go out this way. Might not be the prettiest thing in the whole wide world. You got, you got cool looking stairs. That's pretty legit. Yeah. I, I give you a 7.3 out of 15 <laughs> in a legit <laughs> figure. I'm going to run down this way. And well, so you're going to connect it yeah. to the this building over here? Okay. That tree is totally in the way. Yeah. We're going to have to hit this guy. You're going to have to hit the tree. Turn away, Greenpeace. All right, here we go. And we're connected. So now, not only do they have to take down all those other ramps, but they'd have to take down this whole house, which is far away, and they probably won't go for it. Right. Oh, that makes sense. That's some next level strategy right there, for sure. Uh, so, have you guys plotted out who's defending what? No, we haven't, because we didn't know where everything was going to come from. Okay. At this point, though, I think we're pretty built up, minus a uh, quick uh, kill corridor down the uh, south side. you got to make sure you double up wherever Dom is. As long as he can <laughs> actually stay in the game, <laughs> we'll be okay. <laughs> is Dom the weak link? I don't think that's, I don't think that's fair. I think Dom is... I don't know if that's the case. Yeah, I think Dom is a baller. Dude, is, is he a baller? I think so. I'm not sure about that, dude. I, you, you know how, I, I seriously, I take the use of the term baller. Yes. I, I feel it's fair. All right. All right. So I think, are, are we about ready for this? Why don't you put some traps down? I'm going to. The people demand traps. Cameron, thank you so much. For what? For reminding me to do traps. Traps? Yeah. Well, the people demanded it. Oh. It wasn't me. It was so the people. I, I kind of see how you guys have had, like, are you, are you tempted to kind of funnel there with, like, the... Or yeah. is it for easy access? Well, it's both, right? I mean, we want them to go where we want them to go, so we want to funnel them, but we don't want to have to run around a ton so that we don't get to defensible areas quickly. Okay. It's always a, it's like, um, uh, you're, you're kind of like kind of balancing how accessible is my base versus how easy it is. Because obviously the harder it is for other people to get in, the harder it is for you to get in. So it's the classic network security yeah. conundrum. Right. It's like, you know, y the, the most secure server is one that's offline that has no way to get into. It's <laughs> like, great, but now I can't use it. So right. you do have to be able to get around to the base because uh, at some point somebody over there is going to scream, oh my God, there's a dude and he's messing up my thing. And then I need, you need to get over here. And then you won't be able to because you made the base too impenetrable. So one of the things that uh, we haven't seen just yet is some upgrades. So the constructor can upgrade, fortify a lot of these walls to uh, uh, level three, yeah. which is the, the only hero that can actually uh, do that. The other uh, heroes can upgrade to level two. So um, pick something quick first. I I would, yeah, pick something that uh, will upgrade relatively quickly. So this, so this wood right here is level one. We can upgrade it to level two, make it stronger. And then upgrade it again to level three. And now it's Mobetta. Correct. So now I, I have a lot of resources where I can upgrade, but I want to see where they start coming where they through. Start coming, yeah. Once they funnel, I don't want to upgrade this entire tower only to have them go. Well, I, I would definitely else. get the roofs on over the, uh, uh, the, the gates upgraded to level three because those Let's are 100% chance going to get flung on. Did they build stairs up here? They did. They. I like how you talk about them like they're like this otherworldly. Well, I didn't build them, so someone else had to. They. Attack Look at that. The only problem is you can't F the F4. Well, I can, I can build up to you it. You can build up to it and then 
go down, or you can make a jump pad. I, I made a couple jump pads already. Can I even do this? Those jumping skills. Yeah, hyper legitimacy. The your, your legitimacy grew three sizes. <laughs> <laughs> you, should get, you should get all those roofs, man. It's going to AoE. There you go. There we go. Oh, we got a wood. The people, the people will thank you later on. All right, let's see what this one has over it. So I'm, I'm really liking what, how you guys are thinking about this base. Very interconnected. Lots of easy access, uh, walkways, balconies, staircases, winding staircases. Yeah. I don't know if we have time or if you want me to try to go back and get a look at it. It is it's probably impressive. I but think we still, have, we still have some time before... Uh, it looks like some uh, some resources were dropped out there. Yeah. They were harvesting for a bit before uh, I got in here. Look at all that wood. So we're yeah, taking a look. Let's take a look. Gonna get, gonna yeah, get I'm going to go back up on that house. Oh, yeah. You're going to get a nice view. So, Cameron, what, what type of... I think on the first show I talked about my... Uh, I just can't help myself. Every time I, I see a, a portal mm -hmm. and I drop an atlas, I must build a pyramid. I don't know what it is. I, I'm a, maybe I was an Egyptian in another life. I don't know. But ha whatever, hashtag KLX pyramid. Whatever the case may be, <laughs> I find myself obsessed with building pyramids. Mm -hmm. So, is there like a particular thing that you kind of that I like? To, so, um, I'm a systems designer, which means that um, I lack. I like visual creativity, <laughs> so um, what I like to do is I like to pile as much math as possible into the smallest area. So my designs tend to be boxes with lots of level three walls. Okay, all right, very yep. bland. Yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> I am like the uh, uh, the Wonder Bread of Fortnite building. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. All right.